Hi, I'm Chris Cardona, and I'm pleased to bring you the highlights on board Holland America Line's brand new Rotterdam, coming up on Talking Cruise. So this morning I'm here in the main dining room on board Rotterdam. This is the uh, lower level of the two level dining room and uh, this is on deck number two. And uh, they have a fantastic menu here for breakfast. Uh, you can actually order it through the app or they'll give you an actual printed menu if you prefer. And uh, something that's really nice and it's not really seen on all the other cruise lines is when you come here, uh, if you're by yourself or a small group, they'll ask if you want to have breakfast on your own or if you want to eat with some other party. Uh, they really encourage people to, uh, you know, mix and mingle and uh, get to know their fellow guests, which I think is fantastic. Uh, I'm here filming a video and I didn't really want to interrupt the table uh, with other people, so I'm here by myself. But. Um, it's a gorgeous dining room. Uh, it's actually my first time having a meal here because uh, I am doing specialty for dinner. But uh, it's uh, something that I always try to do is, is have uh, dining room uh, breakfast at least uh, as many times as possible while I'm on a cruise. So thanks for uh, coming along and uh, here's to another great day on board Rotterdam. That is a perfectly cooked egg white omelet. And uh, even I like how they serve your condiments here. They have a little kind of almost mason jar and that has the uh, jam in it, which is pretty cool. This is billboard on board and uh, you have a really uh, great opportunity to hear two pianos and they go head to head and kind of a dueling pianos. And uh, we'll have some footage of that for tonight's show. And here's the bar at billboard on board. And then one of my personal favorite areas on the other side is the Rolling Stone Rock Room. They have a house band that plays incredible music uh, with a real stage and even studio and concert speakers make you feel like you're really in the show. And uh, this was a really cool uh, feature for them to add on board. It's probably one of the most popular spots uh, and the music just rocks on and, and pretty late into the evening. And because these two spaces are directly across from each other, you would think that they might compete uh, because it does get quite loud in here. But what they do is they actually have preset times. So they'll do a set over here at Billboard on board. And then shortly after, they'll start another set at the Rolling Stone Rock Room and then go back and forth uh, throughout the evening. So this uh, Rolling Stone Rock Room and Billboard on board takes us to another musical venue called Lincoln Center Stage and B.B. King's Blues Club. Uh, they will alternate depending on uh, the performance that's going to be happening here. And this is a uh, two-level venue, so there is a mezzanine area, uh, which gives you great sight lines down to the uh, show stage. And just across from Lincoln Center Stage and the B.B. King's Blues Club are the shops, uh, some of the shops here on board Rotterdam. Uh, the shop here has uh, jewelry, watches, and uh, we're in port right now, so uh, those of you that know, the shops are closed while we're in port. And then here we have uh, perfumes and cosmetics. And, uh, to my left over here is the uh, atrium bar. This is where you board the ship as well, so if you need a drink as soon as you come on board, this is your spot. And again, we're on the second level of the atrium area. And on the opposite end of the atrium, we come to another specialty restaurant called Pinnacle Grill. This is the uh, steakhouse on board Holland America ships. And uh, I'll be coming here in a couple of nights, but uh, very nice sort of classic look of a steakhouse with a little bit of a contemporary uh, spin on it as well but uh, beautiful colors and uh, the preparations here are excellent the food is excellent and i really can't wait to come back so here we have an exit to the outside promenade here on deck three uh, it's a great place to go for a stroll especially when the ship is at sea And uh, there are the lifeboats obviously on here, but uh, yeah, you're welcome to come down here when it's open. 
is uh, not really a spot where you can actually run. There's a lot of blind corners here. And uh, some of the sections like up ahead here are pretty narrow. So to actually uh, run down here wouldn't be so easy. But nice place to take a stroll and have a view. And you so we're gonna continue to head forward on deck number 11 and past the iconic All of America funnel with the logo on there. It's quite a large sports court here on board uh, Rotterdam. I always love coming up here, you know, playing basketball with the views all around. It's uh, something special about that. And there's some more shuffleboard over here. And they do have these like outdoor exercise equipment. And then this will take us to the jogging track on board, which uh, circles around the entire retractable roof or the Lidl pool below. So this is aft on deck 11, and this is the sun deck. Uh, it's a nice wide open space uh, for you to lay out here. I'm not seeing much in the way of shade right here. Um, probably it's too windy for them to put out umbrellas, but if you're a full sun uh, person, this is a great spot and it's a little more private. Um, and it's just overlooking the uh, lower decks 10, those two sort of terrace decks, as well as the uh, sea view pool down there on deck number nine aft. And just around the corner from the sun deck, you do have the sun bar which uh, sometimes this is only open in the evenings um, or sea days when there's people up here. So it's uh, been a busy morning today on board, so I'm coming here for a later lunch um, over here at the Lido Market. And uh, what happens at 2 o'clock, which it's just after 2 right now, they do switch and close some of the stations, but they might have some open on uh, just one side. So I think they're just finishing up this side. But I am on the hunt for uh, something for lunch and show you what some of the options are. Here they have some uh, pasta dishes. And I think they'll uh, make something uh, up for you special with the different sauces, noodle selections, and ingredients. So he's going to drop the noodles now and we'll get back up the temperature. And he's going to saute the vegetables. And I'm going to add the sauce to the pan, get all that going together. So having a bit of a later lunch today, I came back to the Lido Market here on board Rotterdam. And uh, your choices are a little bit uh, more limited when you come later. I think the cutoff is 2 o'clock, so from 2 to 4 they shift some of the stations. Some are open, some are not. Uh, but I was able to find the uh, custom pasta station as well as the salad bar. So these are my uh, choices. I went to the custom pasta station where they have, um, today they had uh, penne pasta. I got it with uh, bolognese and some vegetables mixed in and of course some uh, grated parm on top. And then this was my salad, uh, just, you know, pretty simple, uh, you know, as far as uh, ingredients are concerned, but uh, it goes nicely with my pasta. I also went and got this uh, ham and brie uh, cheese sandwich and they pressed it nicely for me. So uh, yeah, you do have some great options. Like I said, not as many um, when you come between two and four, but you know, you'll find a, a good assortment of things here at the Lido Market. So we're here in the upper Lido deck and it uh, looks like the roof has now been closed. Uh, weather does feel like it's coming in a bit. And up here, they've got these really nice uh, benches where you can sit and enjoy your pizza, more just anything else. And then they also have these beds. This is kind of like the down, uh, the lower level, but uh, these are uh, loungers that you can chill out on, which is great. And up here on deck 10, they also have some ping pong with the view. It's a nice shot of the little pool from up here. This is hands down the most beautiful looking library I've seen on board a cruise ship. Definitely a lot of uh, effort went into making this as nice as it is. Very organized uh, by genre. Uh, several copies of each of the books and some very uh, popular and current titles that are very uh, in demand right now. The 
even have a pretty decent young adult section here. And once you've found your book, you can uh, grab a nice seat here and have this amazing backdrop of an ocean view right next to you. So we're here at the Lincoln Center stage, uh, midship deck two on board Rotterdam. And uh, today they're having the afternoon tea time here, which uh, is kind of a change. It's uh, typically in the main dining room, uh, but this is very nice and they have beautiful piano music here. So uh, nice, something nice to do in the afternoon, uh, especially when you've had a busy day so far and uh, something to look forward to towards the uh, evening because there's really a lot of great entertainment on board. Cheers. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Uh, the pastry in the middle is a scone. Very nice. And at the bottom is a sandwich. Yeah? Beautiful. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Home of America's tea time is included. There's no extra cost for this. And uh, it's a great way to spend a little bit of time in the afternoon. Here's the sea wheel pool at nighttime. I'm over here at the Tonyan Bar and uh, I'm put in a drink order in a moment. And uh, this is a great way to uh, get ready for your dinner here at Tambrin or Nami Sushi. So I'm here at the Tamarind Specialty Restaurant here on board Rotterdam. And uh, this is the same venue where I came the other night uh, for the Nami Sushi. It's just part of the same uh, area. And uh, this is Pan-Asian cuisine, and uh, the flavors I know are gonna be incredible. I've eaten here before on previous cruises, and I couldn't wait to come back. Uh, but uh, lots of different uh, great dishes with uh, shrimp and other proteins, some killer baby back ribs um, on the appetizer menu. And uh, also, one thing I do recommend highly is to try one of their signature cocktails. This is the cucumber mojito that is uh, their signature drink here at Tamarind and Nami Sushi. And uh, thank you for joining me again and uh, cheers to a, a great dinner. So it's a start even before the starters arrive. Uh, they've given me these crispy wontons with some of these uh, sauces, which is like a sweet chili, uh, medium chili spice. I'm not really sure what that one's called. And then the third is the hot one, it's the sambal. So appetizer number one is the shrimp and lobster pot stickers, or also known as yosai. And uh, a little bit of uh, dipping sauce here. Uh, I'm told these are a specialty here and uh, definitely looking forward to them. Okay, let's do it. Sweet and sour chicken mushroom and beautiful. Oh, I can smell that aroma already. Nice. Beautiful, thank you. They must have magicians back there in the kitchen because the broth in the sweet and sour soup is incredible. The level of flavors that are coming out, uh, I could probably drink a gallon of this. And uh, while I'm talking about flavors, uh, whether you come to uh, Tamarind or you go to Nami Sushi, do your taste buds a favor and ask to have some of the house-made sambal. It's not, you know, five alarm fire hot, uh, but it has such an amazing uh, enhancement to all the flavors that you'll be having. So it really doesn't matter what you're eating. Uh, the sound ball is a great accompaniment to that. Uh, so doesn't this look amazing? This is the five spice rubbed baby back ribs here at Tamarind. And uh, yeah, I mean, just look at the glistening there. So time for the entree. This is the Thai basil Szechuan shrimp. Over here we have the Dungeness crab fried rice and mushrooms. And at the ready, I've got my little bowl of sambal, ready to go. So it's dessert time. This is called the mango passet. It's um, a coconut macaroon on the bottom and then mango sorbet on top. I'm not really sure what this giant elephant ear is, but uh, it's interesting. And then there's some sort of uh, cream around the, uh, the side there, uh, mango cream. 